guys, it's me, Alexandra here, and I have decided to do a little bit of a book haul. The first one is here, and it is Cersei, and it is by Madeline Miller. As you can tell, I've already read this book. I actually got to meet Madeline Miller. I went to her author event, and I got it the day that it came out, and I had her sign it for me. And the inscription reads, for Alexandra, my future best friends. Best wishes, Madeline Miller. This book is about a goddess named Cersei, and it's about her struggles as a woman, as the first sorceress, her life, her struggles in love, and her struggles with accepting herself and her family. It's really beautiful. The next one I got was Anne Patchett's Bel Canto, and she was so sweet in person, and she also signed it to my new best friend, Alexandra. You have to let me borrow your dress, love Anne Patchett. That lady was so nice. Basically, a bunch of terrorists break into this beautiful party where this opera singer is singing and it's kind of about the moments after the panic and how all of the characters interact and kind of deal with the tragedy. The next one I got is called Lola Dutch and it is by Kenneth and Sarah Jane Wright. Yes, it is a picture book. I am a little bit obsessed with watercolor and illustrations. I love children's illustrations. I think it'd be really fun to actually illustrate a children's book someday. So I'm always always in the kids section. Plus, that was like my department for so long, so I just love to see what's new. This is just literally the cutest thing ever. The illustrator is brilliant. Look at this. It's about a little girl who is a little bit too much. Lola Dutch is just too much. She has a lot of fun, fun? She has a lot of fun with her friends, and together they like to go and do things like go to the library and have very elaborate meals and build forts. And sometimes Lola Dutch can be just a bit too much, but that is why life can be fun, is being a little bit extra. Next, I am so excited about this one. I got the Miss Born Trilogy. I've been wanting to start the series for the longest time, the longest time, but I hate the American editions with a burning passion of a thousand fiery suns. And they smell good. They smell like London. They're from the UK. Stardust by Neil Gaiman. Basically just about a boy who's in love and lots and lots of cool surprises happen. I've seen the movie. I'm obsessed with the movie. I think this is actually going to be my next read. The next one that, that I got was Alice Hoffman's Practical Magic. So there's Jillian and Sally who are sisters and who are witches, and there's been a curse set on all of the husbands of the family. Next, I got Love Her Wild by Atticus, and they are poems. The next one I got is a young adult, and it's called The Asylum, and it is by Madeline Rue. I think that's how you pronounce that. It's French. I believe it's about a bunch of people who are going to their boarding school, but their school has been closed down, and so they're forced to kind of stay in an asylum, and then it turns out that they have like been there before. There is something that is so fascinating to me about asylums and magic tied with the concept of madness. Next, warning, um, I got a lot of middle grade ones. The first one I got is Tahir, Tahiri Mafi. Oh Jesus, Lord in heaven, I apologize. I know I'm butchering that. I know it, I just, I like, I know it. This is called Furthermore, the cover is so cool. This book is about a girl whose father has been lost or missing and she decides that she wants to go and find him and to do that she has to go to this place called furthermore where she has lots of adventures and chaos ensues and she tries to find and rescue her father and to me that just sounds like a good time the next book I bought is very similar in name to furthermore and it is nevermore and this is by Jessica Townsend and this is called the trials of Morgan Crow basically Morgan Crow was born and there was a prophecy that said that she was going to die by a certain age and all of the bad things that happen in this town are blamed on her because she's supposed to be like an unlucky child. Kind of sounds like the townspeople are really messed up. On the day that she's supposed to die, actually, a man named Jupiter North appears and takes her away and he enters her in this kind of like a trial. The next thing that I got was the entire series of the Fallen Kingdoms. It is about this magical world called Mythica. There are people from every single kingdom and basically there is like an unexpected war and one country is taking over another country and all of the characters from all of these different places, they kind of get mixed up together. There's a lot of political intrigue, a lot of magic. So the next one I got was Wildwood. This is by Colin Malloy and the illustrations are beautiful and they are worth a shout out. I mean look at that. Oh it's so pretty. 
This is about a girl who is babysitting her baby brother and one day a flock of crows, I think it's a murder of crows, comes and swoops up her brother and carries him into the forest and chaos ensues. She has to go and try to rescue her brother. She kind of discovers that the forest has this whole other world almost to it. The next book I bought is Winter House by Ben Gutterson. And I think that the cover and the illustration is so beautiful. The illustration is by Chloe Bristol and it's so cool. And then when you take off the dust jacket, look, so it's like windows. So the back of the book says, a lavish hotel, a family secret, a book of puzzles, and a veil of magic. So Elizabeth is an orphan and she is shipped off to this hotel by her aunt and her uncle. And she notices in the hotel that it has a massive library. And in the library, she discovers a magical book of puzzles. It basically unlocks a bunch of secrets and things about her. the history of this hotel, about a bunch of other stuff. Sounds so so amazing. Yeah, I think this is my last middle grade one is The Green Glass House and this is by Kate Milford. So this apparently is a house for smugglers and there's a little boy named Milo and all of a sudden all of these guests start popping up out of nowhere and all of the guests have all of these secrets and slowly Milo starts to uncover all of their secrets and puts together a greater plot for who he is and who his family is and what exactly the green glass house is. And the very last book is The Becoming of Noah Shaw. I'm a huge fan of the unbecoming of Mara Dyer. I love that whole thing. I did didn't particularly care for the last book quite as much, but the first book was beautiful and gripped my attention and was completely unique, I believe, and I loved the concept so much. The Unbecoming of Mara Dyer series is basically about a girl who moves to a place and she has hallucinations and she can't tell if she is losing her mind or if she has magical abilities. Thank you guys so much for tuning in and watching. What books are you reading right now? Until next time, book lovers, keep your head in the clouds and your heart in a book. Bye. I don't know how I feel about this angle. Oh, oh no, don't, don't fall. Ben Gutterson. Gut, Gutson? Gutterson, okay. Gut. <laughs> Synopsises, I don't know, synopsi. Oh, it's a boot.